Our Time for Kids report takes us to Rock County tonight. Beloit's Robinson Elementary School has expanded a program this year. Its single gender classroom program is now in third through fifth grade, and the move will make it easier to track its progress down the road. Rock County reporter Brad Chainson tells us if you ask those who are taking part in it, Brad, they say it's working. Well, they do. And it was last winter we took a look at Marshall Middle School in Janesville, which has a similar optional program. Now, at Robinson and Beloit, for a few grades, it's a required program, but students are welcoming the change. We teach all the same stuff. It's just we go about it in a little different manner. At Robinson Elementary School in Beloit, third, fourth, and fifth grade girls and boys study in their own classrooms. You can feel the difference when you walk into the girls' room. You can, it feels like a girls' room. When it walks into the boys' room, it's kind of like you can, you can feel that adrenaline. But school officials and students agree it's more than just a feeling. We use different strategies for the boys and girls because of the research that shows that they learn differently. The school's single gender class program provides positive, comfortable learning environments for boys and girls. The boys' classes are active. We do exercises in the morning that helps stimulate blood flow and gets their brains going. While the girls' classes use community circles to build relationships and confidence. Girls really tend to like to collaborate and work together, so we try to build that in. Um, the way I speak to them, is in a way to try to encourage them to be more self-confident. Academically, the program appears to be working. School officials say girls' math scores are up, and students themselves are more excited to participate in class. When we say stuff, like, we don't have to worry about boys laughing at us when we say something. When we make a mistake, the girls usually giggle and they laugh, but, now, but since there's boys, they don't laugh as much. With students not focusing on each other, teachers say they can teach the way kids want. Having the boys' room is they will wear you out a little bit just because we have action constantly, but overall I think it's worth it. Now, what was great is that every student I spoke to, when I asked them if they thought they were doing better in school, it wasn't so much the words they used to re respond as they all had this really big smile on their faces, so they really do like school a lot with this program. Now, the school will be looking at performance to determine how to move forward with this program in the future. Well, liking school is the key to success. It really is. It's breaking news, though, that boys make girls giggle, apparently. The tonight. boys aren't laughing as much. <laughs> no. I love that. <laughs>